Hello, I'm Whitney Huffman. Today we'll be exploring our choice board website, how to create your own choice board from templates available on our website, and how to make it tailored towards social emotional learning. Our website can be used to access planning guides, sample choice boards, and several templates for you to manipulate for your own use. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with social emotional learning for your classroom using choice boards. Here is our website, which is dedicated to choice boards, both academic and social emotional learning choice boards. From our home page, there are different tabs that you can navigate through with some information on why choice boards are important, including some research based information, as well as two videos, one of which features children reflecting on choice boards in the classroom and another reflecting on teachers and their use of choice boards. We also have some information to help you get started creating your own choice boards, including using web's depth of knowledge to ensure that your children are getting rigorous activities, but also available to access activities that would be general information. This page is dedicated mostly to academic choice boards, but could definitely be adapted to choice boards that you would want to create for any thing you may need. We have um, an information, uh, we have information on a flow chart for you to use, as well as a depth of knowledge guide and a helpful planning sheet using um, Webb's depth of knowledge. We also have some videos located at the bottom, helping you in your choice board journey, including how to assign your choice board to your Google Classroom, and really just help make your choice board engaging and interactive for your students. We also have some academic examples of choice boards at, for different subjects, but we also have some templates including a choice board with web steps of knowledge, which will let your children again access those different rigorous activities, a grid template, a tic-tac-toe choice board, and choice boards using Google Slides. We also have some example choice boards that you can use, manipulate however you would need to for your classroom. For the purpose of this video, we are going to focus on social emotional learning choice boards. The reason we're doing choice boards on social emotional learning is because we are learning more and more every day about the importance of social emotional learning to both our children and to us as teachers. So we felt that creating some choice boards would help children to be engaged with learning about their own social emotional well-being, as well as give teachers an interactive way to present this material and to learn more about their own students. Before you get started on the choice boards, we feel like it's important to have students complete a social emotional learning self-assessment, which we have a link to an example. This is our example that we created, which you may make a copy of, use as a template, whatever works best for you. Uh, this is set up for probably a fourth, fifth grade age student, but it could be, again, um, reworked for any age student. We felt like the important pieces to put on here, because this would be a pre-assessment for children, is putting in for information such as how they like to be recognized in the classroom. Now, all students like to be publicly recognized. Some prefer a one-on-one -on -one conversation or just a note. We also have some information about how children react to different situations when they're angry, sad, or upset. 
as a teacher, this would give us a lot of insight into what children understand about themselves, but it also help us to approach students if we feel a situation has occurred or if they just come in and don't see themselves. We also put some energy into looking for information on how they like to learn. We need to have children understand that they're not always going to be able to work independently. That may be their preference, but being able to understand which students prefer to work independently and which ones thrive in a group situation can help us to plan groups as well as help prepare children for group situations. And then also how they interact during their own free time. Oftentimes on the playground, we'll see children playing with others or not playing with others and not know, do they have something going on or is that just how they like to unwind is by themselves. And finally, how students would react to a situation. This is more to give us some information on how to observe our students and again, help them to recognize appropriate responses to situations. Now that we've looked at the self-assessment to fill out, some other information are some templates for your social emotional learning choice boards. What you'll notice is we have several examples of you to look at, make a copy of, manipulate as you need to, as well as some read alouds, because we all know that students love to be read to and then reflect on those read alouds. We also have some Google folders for grade level ranges. So we have some K2 resources, three, five, five, six, six to eight. These could definitely be accessible to six to eight to older students, as well as some at home information that you could use to send with your children home to work on, or if parents are in need of some assistance, these would definitely be some resources for you to send home with them. If we click on this first choice board, What you'll notice is that students, this is set up for K1 and 2, but can obviously be altered to fit the needs of your students. But students choose any seven activities to complete during a quarter. So for a nine weeks, they would choose seven activities to work through. And what's great about this is, again, is that it's student paced and it's student choice led. When students feel that they have a choice in what they're doing, their engagement level is going to be higher and they're going to understand it and reflect on it themselves better if they have a choice in it. Finally, if you notice again that the resources are for grade ranges, K2, 3, 5, 5, 6, 6, 8, the activities within these would be pertaining to the age ranges listed. So for example, if we click on the six to eight, there are two folders. One is for making responsible decisions. Another one's for self-awareness. If we go to self-awareness, there is an, another folder on accurate self-perception, self-confidence, and identifying emotions. So these activities would be geared towards a six to eighth grade range student. And if you need to contact Nicole or myself about any information, please don't hesitate to reach out. Our information is under the contact tab with our emails listed. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.